44 pitches in the first two innings. What were you able to do to kind of settle that down after that? Um, yeah, uh, it came out, uh, you know, wasn't hitting, wasn't executing pitches early enough. Um, you know, they were putting good at bat together. They were grinding me. Um, but after that, was able to make adjustment, kind of free myself up, and uh, you know, was able to from that point forward uh, to get back in the zone. You know, throw first pitch strikes, didn't walk anybody, uh, and when you do that, it gave, you know, gives me a chance to um, you know pitch deep into the game. And so that's what I hang my hat on is I was able to get through seven after you know being you know 40 plus pitches through two innings. So um, you know that, but that the only reason I was also able to do that is because we had some great defense tonight. You know, and Dolores made a couple plays. Uh, you know, tonight and. Uh, you know, guys were guys were just playing good defense behind me as well. So, um, you know, in that, in that type of situation, you don't try to pu- try as punch as many tickets in that situation. You just you're trying to just collect outs and uh, and not walk anybody. So, uh, you're gonna have to rely on your defense a little bit in that situation. And uh, the, you know, the guys came through for me. After a long first couple of innings, do you actively try to lean more on the defense and be efficient with your pitches? The rest of the way? Um, you're just trying to sequence and, and um, not, le- not not get long at bats and walks. You know that's that's how you get out of there in five innings. You know if they continue to grind you and foul pitches off, you walk batters. You know that's what runs your pitch count completely up. Um, you know typically when you have a high pitch count like that, then guys get a little bit more aggressive uh, earning the count. So if you can sequence, uh, you can uh, find some quick outs. So uh, you know I was able to do that, and, and like I said, defense was able to pick me up in that situation. What have you kind of of learned about the character of this team? Obviously, you went down, and now, um, you know, Jeff, Eduardo, potentially down. I mean, what have you learned when this team has had to overcome some obstacles over the course of the year? Yeah, we've done it all year long. Uh, you know, n- n- you know, more guys are going to get opportunities to uh, go out there and have success. And uh, every time you know, somebody's gotten that opportunity, they've gone out there and done something about it. So, uh, you know, that's a great thing about what we've done as a team is we play team ball. Uh, it doesn't always have to be the best guys; it can be the right guys. And everybody who's gotten their opportunity has done something with it. And that's the definition of a great team. And that's why we we have the record we have so far. Um, but like you said, those you know, losing those two guys will will, will definitely hurt. Uh, they, they provide you know, some good value to us and, and what they can do on both sides of the ball. So, um, you know, whoever gets the opportunity, you know, they're going to have to go out there and, uh, you know, they got big shoes to fill. What makes Stott a difficult guy? Um, you know, we're, we're getting into, you know, <laughs> this is division. Uh, you know, when you get in division, uh, you know, you, you start, you know, they really start keying on, on what they can what they can do against you, and they really start picking up on uh, your tendencies, and they they get more comfortable with their at bats, um, you know, in, in the pitches and how they break against you. So, um, you know, he put together some good at bats today, um, and so you know, this is part part of Major League Baseball. You know, there, there's there's always going to be somebody that can go out there and, and uh, find a way to grind a bat and be able to get hits against you. It's it's you know what you do next, and so. Um, you know, it, we'll continue to have good battles. You know, as we continue to go along. How much different does, in your eyes, this Phillies team look than they looked maybe earlier this year? I don't know. Um, I've, I've, I, I really haven't changed my opinion. I've, I've thought this. You know, the Phillies are a good team, very good team. You know, they can beat you at any, you know, multitude of ways. And um, you know, like I said, my opinion hasn't changed. You guys had to reshuffle the defense a little bit, and you have Canna playing third base for the first time in a while. Just what went through your head when you saw him field that first round ball? Team? As soon as he caught it, I was like, oh, thank God. Because <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was going to be able to throw him out. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that, you know, here, that's a perfect example of, you know, you know, Mark stepping up and you know never playing third base. He's got to play third base, and you know he gets a, you know, he's going to get action, and um, you know he, he came through for us. So, um, you know, just an opportunity for somebody else to continue to do something. So we need we need everybody in this clubhouse to be able to uh, play at their best in order for us to win. And you know, unfortunately tonight we weren't able to get the W, but we played really good ball as a whole. Buck was saying there's a lot of volunteers in the dugout to go play third. Were you in that? Like, were you not in the conversation? Were you there listening to people? No, I, I'm nowhere near uh, <laughs> the dugout during uh, you know between innings. I'm up I'm up in my little corner.